Hello, my name is Dr. Bob DiMaria, the drugless doctor with another get to know video just for you. You know, you've heard of toxic minerals, heavy metal poisoning. It can confound you sometimes. I know that recently there was a lot of information on arsenic that was making the news. Well, I want you to know something. Arsenic is real. We have the ability in our office through biocommunication technology to assess our patients with a galvanic skin response and oftentimes we'll see individuals for two reasons have high arsenic. Eating apples that are conventional, that means non-organic apples and individuals who have a passion for sugar. So what you may not realize is that sugar is oftentimes sprayed with an herbicide or a pesticide to keep the pest off of the sugar cane. And so what happens is, is that that arsenic that also could be sprayed on apples for the same reason is going to go into your body. I want you to also know through galvanic skin biocommunication testing that oftentimes we'll see elevated arsenic in individuals who have dementia and Alzheimer's. It's actually quite consistent and this concerns me but it's common. Another heavy metal that we've been recognizing in our practice through either hair mineral tissue analysis or galvanic skin response biomechanication testing is cadmium. You see, Dr. Bob, where would cadmium come from? Cadmium would come from the byproduct of catalytic conversion emissions in your vehicles when you're driving around. It is not uncommon for us in our practice to have individuals come in they may have had a long road trip coming into our office that have elevated cadmium levels. You want to know where else we see it? Secondhand smoke. It really hurts my heart when I have someone come into our practice whose mom is smoking and they have little children because I know those children could have cadmium toxicity. Often welders will have cadmium toxicity also. It could start to impair mental function. We use a product called chlorella. Chlorella happens to be a plant based product that helps minimize or eliminate cadmium in your body. Mercury is another common toxin today and I want you to know this and I've seen this from my experience in our practice is that if you consume fish, tuna fish, swordfish, on a regular basis, I've actually seen elevated mercury levels through biocommunication and or mineral tissue analysis. Do you know where else we see elevated mercury levels? People who have dental work. See, the mercury that's in your amalgams can literally leach into your system. One of the negative aspects about mercury paralyzes your parotid gland. Parotid gland are glands located in your throat region that secrete enzymes for starch metabolism. So you could literally have a digestive problem because of the amalgams that are inside of your mouth. Aluminum is another heavy metal that we see that is increased in individuals who have on mineral tissue analysis. These individuals may have a little bit of mental distress because we know that aluminum compromises brain function but we also see elevated aluminum levels on individuals who have adrenal fatigue and exhaustion. You could have memory impairment, one of the body signals, high aluminum. Studies have suggested that lead, another heavy metal toxin, can also be uh, around in individuals who may have a history of ADD and some of this lead can come from eating leaded paints or any other kind of material that would have a lead and is a part of the base that's in that particular product. So here's what I need you to do. I want you to start consuming foods that are organic. You may consider a mineral tissue analysis because the mineral tissue analysis is going to give me an idea if you have elevated aluminum, mercury, cadmium, and arsenic. And you can say, well, why do I need to know this for Dr. Bob? Because those heavy metals literally are going to short circuit the brain cell function. Now here's what you can do. We encourage Celtic sea salt. 
Celtic sea salt is a good mineral that's gonna help push some of the improper minerals out of your body and you want to have adequate adrenal gland function because the adrenal glands also will assist your body in pushing those toxic minerals inside out of your system. Make sure you're eating protein, because protein, and I want you to make sure you're eating sulfur-based foods, eggs, onion, and garlic. Sulfur-based foods, egg, onion, and garlic, and protein help your body eliminate those unwanted, unnecessary toxins. My name is Dr. Bob DiMaria, the Drugless Doctor.